Tomorrow is Holocaust Remembrance Day, and there is a new campaign that's urging all provinces and territories to make Holocaust education mandatory starting in grade six. The initiative is called Young Again, Never Again. It uses artificial intelligence technology to allow Holocaust survivors to tell their stories as their younger selves. The campaign is being launched by the Holocaust Education Organization called Liberation 75. The group says with anti-Semitism on the rise in the wake of the Israel-Hamas war, it's important to teach all Canadians about the dangers of hate. With more on this, we're joined live by Marilyn Sinclair, founder of Liberation 75. Marilyn, thanks so much for being with us today. I wonder if you can tell us about this initiative that you're proposing, why it's important to hear from Holocaust survivors themselves. Thank you so much, Melissa. Thank you for having me. It is so important to hear from the witnesses of the greatest genocide in the history of the universe, because they tell us from their firsthand experience what happened to them, and more importantly, what they want us to do after hearing uh, from them. They want us to fight for democracy. They want us to fight for freedom. And they want our students, especially, to fight against hate, against all people, to fight against racism and discrimination. And what we know, Melissa, is that the majority of the incidents of anti-Semitism that occurs in the schools, and this is not just happening in the last seven months, this is something that's been happening for years and increasing year over year. And we see that it happens mainly in grades six to eight. And so we know that this is the important time to start teaching kids about these, these, about what happens when hate goes unchecked and we don't stand up for each other. And that's why Minister Lecce brought in Holocaust education to grade six as the first province in Canada. Marilyn, I'm curious to know what kind of reaction you've seen from young people in grades six and seven and eight how they've responded to, to hearing about these stories. We've had tremendous success. All of the organizations that deal with Holocaust education came in this September with programming for the grade six students in Ontario to be able to support this new mandate. And we have had the most phenomenal results. We have not had one bit of negative feedback because what Holocaust education in grade six does is it teaches kids about our shared humanity, about resilience, about fighting hate, about defending Canadian values. We build empathy by, by introducing children from all over the country to other Jewish children who are so much more like them than not like them. And that creates empathy between all groups. It starts conversations in the classrooms about similarities, not differences. Marilyn, I've come across some numbers from your organization. Please correct me if I'm wrong here. But from what I understand, according to a 2021 survey, one in three teens in Canada and the U.S. think the Holocaust was fabricated, exaggerated, or are unsure it even happened. I, I wonder what your reaction is to this. How did we get to this point? How do we turn things around? Well, we're almost 80 years since the end of World War II. And like everything, the way to turn it around is through education. 40% of teens learned about the Holocaust on social media. Social media is a very bad place to learn about anything. The students need to learn from their teachers, and we're teaching the teachers how to teach these very challenging subjects. And I wonder, as, as we approach um, Holocaust Remembrance Day, as you've noted, we are seeing a rise in anti-Semitism around the world, including here at home in the GTA. What is your message as we remember this year? My message is, let's go to the kids. Let's trust them. Our newest survey that we did this past January showed that 40% of grade six students, 9,000 students, had unequivocally witnessed an anti-Semitic event, which is outstanding. And when they witnessed an anti-Semitic event, they felt that it was a big problem that needed urgent attention. Let's trust our children. Let's tell them the stories in an age-appropriate way. Let's implore them 
to fight for democracy and freedom and to be good citizens. And that's what this is about. And that's why we implore all the ministers of education across the country to bring mandatory Holocaust and anti-Semitism into the curriculum in grade six. Marilyn St. Clair, founder of Liberation 75. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Melissa.